Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, December 5th. It was an easement that was absolutely necessary for us to go and manage that property. However, that easement led to the city of Ormond Beach filing a lawsuit against Flagler County. The easement allows Flagler County to access 2,000 acres of conservation lands and to conduct land management on those parcels. At yesterday's Flagler County Commission meeting, County Attorney Al Hadid told the commission the easement would benefit residents of Ormond Beach. Now I want you to think about who the beneficiaries are of that management. I mean, it's just not the natural environment. Obviously, the natural environment has a huge plus when the land is managed. The other benefit is to the residents of the city of Ormond Beach. This is a conservation park. There'll be equestrians, biking, hiking, all of those features of the conservation park hasn't been finally formulated, but it is to the advantage of the citizens, by the way, including our citizens that will reside in Hunter's Ridge. So while it may have seemed to them that it was a snub of some sort, it wasn't. We had to do it by necessity, and we notified him. It was very public. Ormond Beach is concerned that the easement might enable Flagler County to construct a future public road through designated conservation lands, potentially connecting Strickland Road to State Road 40 and exacerbating local traffic. The city also claims the developer breached the 1991 Hunter's Ridge Development of Regional Impact, citing failures to allocate nearly 300 acres of conservation lands to the city of Ormond Beach. County Attorney Al Hadid said that land is the key to a resolution. Because once they get that parcel, the two to 300 acres, whatever adjustments we may need to make in order to further that continued access, where for protocol reasons, it's done in a protocol fashion, that's fine. But until they get that two to 300 acres, there's nothing more that we can do other than continue to use the present access that's been granted to us. Hadid tells the commission what's next. So we have filed for the mediation. We've talked about that. I talked about that with the council, who's very generously gave me his time this weekend. And we'll see how that moves forward. And hopefully we can resolve this without both publics, both publics paying the freight for litigation. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. Yesterday, the Florida National Guard broke ground at the Flagler Executive Airport on a 37,000-square-foot facility consolidating truck and weapons maintenance. It's the first maintenance shop built by the Florida National Guard since 2006, and it's designed to enhance efficiency, supporting over 300 vehicles, trailers, and 900 soldiers across 10 units in northern Florida. The Palm Coast City Council is meeting tonight at 6 p.m. for its regularly scheduled business meeting. Proclamations will begin the meeting according to Brittany Kershaw, Director of Communications and Marketing for the City of Palm Coast. First, the City Council will proclaim December 9th, 2023 as Palm Coast Holiday Boat Parade Day in honor of the largest lighted boat parade in the state of Florida happening right here in Palm Coast. Immediately following. Then the Community Development Department will discuss comprehensive plan amendments, including zoning changes for Old Kings Village and updates to -to door-to-door solicitation. And then. They'll also discuss the expansion of the Landings Community Development District and amendments to the Town Center at Palm Coast DRI. For resolutions, there will be discussion on proposals for changes in the Town Center Development Order and approval of the Parks and Recreation Master Plan. The meeting is open to the public and held in the community wing in Palm Coast City Hall. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. How do you explain this housing market? Realtor Toby Tobin, the host of Real Estate Matters with Toby Tobin, said here on WNZF that things have taken an odd step. Today's market is we're moving sideways price-wise. Well, we lost $300 for Versus last yeah, it's year. Say it. It's going it down. That second voice was co-host Walker Douglas. Both Tobin and Douglas agree that the market has not changed price-wise in 14 months. You can listen to Real Estate Matters with host Toby Tobin here on WNZF, Saturday mornings at 11 or on the Flagler radio app. Tomorrow, is growth good or bad? From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.